St. George this evening, where a high school is being criticized today after students attended Friday's football game wearing full black face paint. The school district says this was an attempt to show school spirit for the blackout football game. Now, many concerned parents say that this is blackface and should not have been allowed. Liv Kelleher is in southern Utah at Pineview High School, where the incident happened. A spokesperson for the Washington County School District did confirm that the incident happened. I also spoke with several Pineview High School parents who said their kids saw it too. It was spirit night on Friday and kids were told to come to the game dressed in all black to emulate their school's mascot, the Panther. Two students, however, took it a step further, covering their face entirely with black face paint. At halftime, the cheerleading squad posed with two students for this photo that we've blurred. The spokesperson and parents told me the two students were getting a spirit award. It was then posted online by a coach. The image has since been deleted, but not before community members were able to screenshot and repost. One father I spoke with says he's looking for accountability and action, and he's worried that if the school doesn't take a strong stance, issues like this will continue to happen. Here's what the Washington County School District had to say. We work hard to create a safe space for all of our students, and we are disheartened that this took place, and we sincerely apologize to any of our students or community members that were offended by this. This should never have happened. Does this demonstrate a culture within this specific school um, of, like we said, racial ignorance or just kind of ignoring what this, how this might make someone of color feel? No, I don't think this, cre this demonstrates that in this particular school, not at all. I, I actually think it's, it's more of a situation where we recognize we're in a constant state of improvement and, and we have continuously done this type of training um, and we're gonna continue to, to do additional trainings, whatever is necessary to help our students feel safe in our schools. Another parent told me that this is not an isolated incident and she is aware of other similar issues dating back to 2015. Steve Dunham of the Washington County School District, however, says that he is not aware of any other issues. In St. George, Liv Kelleher, KUTV 2 News.